Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Galveston, Texas with Austin from Good Citizen News as he is trying to, uh, well, give his opinion about certain things at a town hall meeting. But you know what? I don't think anybody there is listening too much because, you know, who wants to listen to that idiot? At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Form here it says good citizen. We need to get your name if we could, please, sir. Come on up. How's it going? Good. Yeah, you Identify yourself, oh, please. My sir. name is Austin. Okay. So I've been here several times before talking about the same thing, the issues with the police department. Um, I'm not going to be as nice as some of the people before. I'm, I'm actually pretty damn frustrated. Yeah, this coming from a guy who was in cahoots with another guy who ended up getting a baby pepper sprayed the other day. So, yeah, uh, you're not exactly a nice guy to begin with, dude. I don't buy that one little bit. We have a police officer still employed that brutally beat me, and he is still employed. He's allowed to take vacation until retirement. What the actual F word is that about? I tell you something, dude. Your style of dress at a formal meeting leaves something to be desired, dude. I mean, nobody's really going to pay attention to you if you dress like a freaking slob to a event like this. I mean, come on, dude. This is half your problem right here. He's allowed to take vacation until retirement? Are you kidding me? And then I find out just today from an investigative news report that we have employed in Galveston, a criminal on the police force. His name is Jared Revis. He has a misdemeanor history of, uh, was it auto theft burglary? Are you kidding me? You give a, you give a criminal a badge and a gun to steal legally for the city here. Oh, are you jealous because the other guy didn't commit as many crimes as you did in your past and it ended up disqualifying you from getting a job, uh, a regular job at that? Perhaps even one in law enforcement or government or anything like that? I mean, it's all your own damn fault for not seeing the light and uh, straightening up and flying right, dude. I mean, that's your own damn problem. Also, we have several city ordinances that are against the Constitution and actually go against state law. So not only are you violating state law, you're violating federal law. It's absolutely atrocious, and that needs to be addressed. First of all, your interference law, that is a big problem. The interference and the municipal code is all they can arrest us for because it doesn't go against the state. It goes against the state statute. It doesn't say in the state statute that you can arrest somebody for talking too loud. It says that speech alone is not interference. Well, uh, from what I've seen of many of your videos, it's not your words that generally get you in trouble. It's your actions anyway, and that's what you're really complaining about right here because it's going to be easier for them to come after you. What the hell is going on here? I'm tired of this. You said at the beginning of this meeting, sir, that y'all address issues and reach back out to people. I, nor anybody who's ever been to one of these meetings with me, has ever been addressed. We have given you our email addresses. We have given you our information time after time after time, and it hasn't, we haven't been reached out. Well, now I am just going to cut it short right here because I don't want to use all this idiot's material because he might end up putting a false copyright strike on me, and uh, I certainly don't want that. But anyway, we got the gist of it. I mean, this guy is a complete moron anyway, and nobody's going to uh, listen to a word he has to say. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.